this project. Thank you. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Naranam Namaskrityam Naronchai Vanaratamam. Devim Sarasmutim Vyasham Tato Jayat Mudirai. Nasta Praishwa Badreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevya. Bhagavati Uttamas Loke Bhakti Bhavati Nastiki. <coughs> Reading from Srimad Bhagavatam. Kento 3, Chapter 21. The chapter is titled Conversation Between Manu and Kardama. <clears throat> Text number is 41. Mata dvija ganai gusta, mata brahmara vibramam, mata barhi nata nat ut atopam, avayan mata kokilam, mata dvija ganai gusta, mata brahmara vibramam, mata barhi nat atopam, avayan mata kokilam. Matad vijaganai gustam, mata brahmara vibramam, mata bari nat atopam, ahavayan mata kokilam. Word by word, mata, overjoyed, vija of birds, ganai by flocks, gustam resounded, mata intoxicated. Brahma of bees, Vibramam wandering, Mataha maddened, Barhi of peacocks, Nataha of dancers, Atopam pride, Avaya calling one another, Mataha marry, Kokilam cuckoos. Translation proper by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhakti Vedanta, Swami Prabhupada, Sir Prabhupada Ki Jai. The area resounded with the notes of overjoyed birds, intoxicated bees, wandered there, intoxicated peacocks proudly danced, and many cuckoos called one another. Purport. The beauty of the pleasant sounds heard in the area surrounding Lake Bindu Sarovar is described here. After drinking honey, the black bees became maddened and they hummed in intoxication. Merry peacocks dance just like actors and actresses. And merry cuckoos called their mates very nicely. Om Ajnana Timirandasya Gyananjana Sulakaya Chakshun Mitan Yena Tasmai Shri Guru Venama Sri Chaitanya Manavistam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Swapadantikam Vandeham Shri Guru Sijuta Padakamalam Shri Guru Maishnavamsya Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sagana Raghunata Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Savadutam Pariyana Saitam Sikrishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sagana Lalita Sri Vishaka Vitam E Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dinabandhu Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namastute Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radha Evinda Vaneshwari Rishabhano Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Vancha Kalpataru Vaischa Kripa Sindhu Vayayvacha Patita nam pavane bhayo, Vaishnavi bhayo, Namanamaha. 
जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नितानंद श्री अद्वैत कदाधा श्री बासादी गौर भक्त बिंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे मत बीज गणय गुष्ट मत ब्रह्म रवि ब्रमा मत बर् नम आवयर मत कोकिल द एरिया रिसाउंडेड विद द नोट्स ऑफ ओवर जॉइड बर्ड्स इंटॉक्सिकेटेड बीज वॉन्डर दर इंटॉक्सिकेटेड पी कॉक्स प्राउडली डांस एंड मैरी कुकूस कॉल्ड वन अनदर so here we see in this verses the description of the bindu sarovar in previous verses we heard that kardama muni at this very place performed thousands of years of austerities and he gets a darshan of the supreme lord he has a desire now uh, right well uh, that he can get a suitable wife a kama sarva kama moksha kama udara di tevla so like whether you have you are desireless or you have desires all you have desire for liberation in any of those three condition you worship the supreme lord who grants a benediction and the lord is mentioning that soon at this particular place um swambhava manu with his wife satarupa and their daughter devahuti would come as they are in search for a suitable husband and no matter at this very place bindu sarovar and why is it called bindu sarovar because the lord was overwhelmed that is devotee from his performed so much austerities for his uh pleasure right for the pleasure of the supreme lord praying to the supreme lord may right? praying to the supreme lord that in his overwhelmed uh, whelming state of ecstasy tears started rolling down his eyes and uh, mixed with this pure water of a uh, saraswati river uh, it formed uh, a bindu sarovar bindu sarovar <clears throat> uh so that you get an idea where it is in modern day india it's in a area in gujarat called sidhpur this is a bindu sarovar here and um basically um uh, and this is a saraswati river flowing see the saraswati river flowing it's Uh, at a place called uh, uh, Patan, uh, near Patan, Sidhpur, right, uh, where uh, people come to perform, uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> uh, shraddh, uh, especially from maternal side. If uh, you know, it's like we have Pitru shraddh and Matru shraddh, so Matru shraddh uh, is performed in this. Uh, uh, place sidhpur that's why it's called matru gaya sidhpur right uh, and that's where uh, bindu sarovar is um right uh, uh, right in sidhpur um, gujarat um it's like 120 125 five kilometers north of amirabad patan used to be the capital of gujarat uh, before uh, uh amirabad currently it uh, gandhinagar is the capital close to amirabad but before that patan used to be the capital 
in the 15th century, 14th century time frame. And it's famous for Patan Patola, like that uh, sari, uh, Patola sari. So that's where uh, Bindu Sarovar is. Um, no? Nice. Uh, where um, the tears of the Supreme Lord, Angani Yashe Sakalendra Vittimanti, the tears of the Supreme Lord uh, are not different than the Supreme Lord. Right? Um, just like uh, the water coming from the toes of the Supreme Lord uh, is the Ganges water. Um, uh, people taking bath in the Ganges water, right, is relieved from all kinds of uh, sins. So similarly, uh, people taking deep in this Bindu Sarovar is also relieved of all kinds of sins because they are the tears of the Supreme Lord. So that place was so pleasant, Bindu Sarovar, that <clears throat> um, the source of the lake in the previous verse we see that was surrounded by pious trees, not by thorny trees, but pious trees because it was uh, fruit bearing trees which could be used in the service of the Supreme Lord. And the birds and the bees, like in this verse we see, the birds and the bees, it was resounded with the notes of overjoyed birds, intoxicated. Like we see the word mataha, mataha, mataha. And it is used in different contexts. One is uh, resounded with notes of overjoyed, overjoyed birds or intoxicated bees, mataha. Wandered the intoxicated peacocks were dancing there, and merry cuckoos uh, called one another. Uh, so that kind of uh, no, it's, uh, signifies that no, that place uh, was filled with these various birds, was filled with these pious trees, and further we see uh, was adorned with flowering trees, trees filled with uh, uh, flowers which can be offered to the Supreme Lord. And the next two verses we see different, different flowers, Karnaba, uh, Champaka, Ashoka, Karanja, Bakula, Asana, Kunda, Mandara, Kutaja, and young mango trees. And the air was filled with pleasing notes of beautiful birds. So then the trees and the birds are mentioned. Um, Right, where it was filled with beautiful birds, the Kalandara, ducks, flowers, swans, ospreys, waterfowl, cranes, chakravakas, and chakulas. And uh, its shores abounded with animals like deer, boars, porcupines, gawaya, elephants, baboons, lions, monkeys, mongooses, and musk deer. Musk deer. It's a rare rarity, uh, this musk deer, right, because they secrete uh, from the bodily glands itself, musk, right, uh, in the body and uh, they carry that. Uh, uh, Kasturi, uh, nowadays we see them only in the Himalayas. We no longer see them in uh, uh, near Bindu Sarovar or other places. We see them in Himalayas, in Tibet and other places. Um, so, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so that's a description of uh, 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 Bindu Sarovar. And the Supreme Lord, Norman, see how um, he creates a, such a nice place for the meeting place of uh, um, Kadama Muni and Devahuti, uh, his future uh, consort. Um, and through Devahuti, uh, the Lord uh, you know, uh, arranges that uh, nine daughters are born from Devahuti. And he himself comes as a plenary expansion as Lord Kapila from Devahuti. Um, right, and that's what numbers. Uh, he grants that 
moon to um, Lord Kapila after uh, no, grant the moon to Kadama Muni after being pleased by his austerities uh, in service of the Supreme Lord. Right. Are there any questions or discussions on this point? These are descriptions of uh, this wonderful place. So we can have some reflections. Hare Krishna Prabhuji, not wrong. Thank you so much for wonderfully explaining Prabhuji, also showing the map. Uh, there, Prabhuji, my question is around modern day controversy that they say Saraswati River doesn't exist, but you're showing on the map also, and then um, Shastras also say, um, and uh, but they say that you know. Uh, we can see uh, that in uh, Prayagraj, there's Gangaji, Yamanaji, but uh, Saraswati River is uh, not there. So how do we understand this point, Prabhuji? Yeah, well, <clears throat> uh, over the period of time, uh, the river becomes barren. So they say it's not existing, but there are evidences that the river existed. Right, I mean, right now here itself, we see uh, the map of Saraswati River, um, and the description is there, both in Srimad Bhagavatam and uh, the uh, Rig Veda, that this was a place where even uh, uh, Parshuram uh, performed uh, Matur Shrad for uh, um, his mother on the banks of this uh, Saraswati and uh, Bindu Sarova. So now they would say that because now this is in Gujarat and now we go to all the way to uh, um, Triveni Sangam, which is in the north, Prayagraj, right? So, so the river has to uh, join there, you know, flowing through these. And we see the description uh, where we saw the trails of Vidur Maharaj, right? That moment he also traveled in, uh, where the Saraswati was flowing. And he went all the way to Badrikashna. Right? So that trail uh, is uh, there of the river um, in uh, uh, Sastras. But just because it uh, uh, may be in, uh, in the form of barren uh, river right now, um, uh, no, over the period of time, no, it's, it's, we hear that even uh, Jamuna, over 10,000 years, um, will become, no, uh, will not be seen. Golden Hill will not be seen. Does that mean then that, no, it's, uh, um, later on, and the Kali Yuga will uh, start saying, Oh, no, it's no, there was no Govardhan, Govardhan did not exist. It's just mythology. Or Jamuna Riva did not exist because it's mythology. No, it's there in the scriptures. It's there. It's just that over a period of time, they are manifest. Yeah. Thank you so much, Prabhuji. Yeah, well, that's how we can explain that. Hey, no, it's, uh, if they go back to the old times, they will see the maps. This is right there in the Google Maps. The Saraswati River and uh, Bindu Sarovar. I just have to Google it for Bindu Sarovar, and this maps came right. Yes, so, sir. for them to defy, oh, the Saraswati River did not exist, or this did not exist. No, it's, it's just because seeing is believing kind of uh, philosophy uh, they uh, tend to act, uh, believe. Uh, and seeing is believing is not the best form of knowledge. Right? 
hearing from authoritative sources is the best form of knowledge. Not seeing it is believing. Yeah. Good. Thank you very much, Hakrishwam. Yeah. Thank, thank you, Prabhuji. Um, yeah, I was just thinking that um, another point on that. And if we um, explain our kids today that uh, only a few years ago, uh, there's no phone or you know, no phone with touch screen. Uh, so it'll be, it becomes very difficult for them to understand. Yeah. But now it's very common. Yeah. I remember uh, uh, when I came to uh, US, there was hardly any cell phone. This was 1986, no cell phone, hardly any cell phone. And when no um uh, when I was hearing when I was uh, uh, studying in college, that, oh, okay, uh, no, was, well, pretty soon there is some kind of a, a, a uh, sophisticated cell phone or uh, instrument coming where you can uh, see each other. Right. I, I said, oh, wow, no, that must be, you know, uh, no, uh, something made up. And now it's common. We have FaceTime, we have video call, we have this call. Right. Uh, at that time, uh, to uh, get a cell phone, uh, I believe, uh, yeah, this was way back in 1994, 95, um, was $1,000 a pair of cell phone. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Um, so, no T-Mobile or this, uh, they're having a cell phone with this plan, $1,000 a pair. And now, communication. So, I mean, all these things will, uh, in over the period of time, will increase. Uh, no, uh, <clears throat> but ultimately, what does it do? It makes us more dependent on these gadgets and less dependent on our ingrained intelligence. Right. Um, years back, like I would, uh, I, if I had to go from one place to another place, I would uh, pull, pull out a Rand McNally map and go from one place to another place, drive down. Right, and still we were able to go from one place to another place and then not get lost. And now we have this GPS and this and that and that and that. So things over a period of time will change. Um, and so called uh, modernization, things will change. But does that make us closer to the Supreme Lord? Not necessary. No. <clears throat> In fact, our intelligence goes down, our eyesight go down. Right. Now, moments we'll see most of the people have glasses. At that time, moments our eyesight were much more stronger because um, before uh, the kids will go out and play and you know, sports. Now, instead of sports, just come down to video games. So it's just you now, uh, ultimately, uh, all this does not help uh, our uh, health as well as spiritually, it does not help. We are communicating with our Guru Maharaj uh, and serious uh, trying to serve and suddenly a cell phone rings. XYZ is trying to call you. Right. So, well, 
So those are in one form distraction. Uh, I remember uh, when I was, I just came back from India uh, to be part of uh, my God brother Kalmakala Maharaj's final journey. And when we had Kirtan there, uh, so that no one can hear, uh, uh, at the entrance itself, uh, a devotee was assigned with a basket. And everybody will deposit their cell phone in that basket. Whether it is a Maharaj or uh, whoever, they will deposit their cell phone in that basket. So that when they are attending the Kirtan, there is no cell phone ringing. Right. It's just that they are hearing the holy name. And when they leave, they collect their cell phone. Yeah. Probably something we can think of instituting it here. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice idea, Prabhuji. So just like when we enter temple, we keep our shoes out, we can keep cell phone out. Yeah. 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 And most of the Hindu temples in in the rest of India have this thing. They will give you a slip and they will take your cell phone, put it, and then they will give it back when you're outside. Yeah, like you deposit your cell phone outside, like you go to Mathura yeah. Keshav Temple. Otherwise, people will start clicking photos and this and that and that and that. Uh, yeah, that's there. Good. Yeah, most of the temples, it's there. Uh, yeah. In our second phase plan, we'll plan a room where you can just deposit your cell phone with the attendant outside. Yeah. In Mayapur, it is there. <laughs> you have to put it, give it to security there. But still, there are other ways so people take it inside. But yeah. 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 <clears throat> Distraction. In Jagannath Puri, definitely it's there outside. Uh, Kesha temple, in all big temples, you know, I went to Trivendram, Anand Padmanap temple, we have to deposit it outside, you cannot take photographs inside. Yep. Any other discussion? We have a couple of minutes left. So we are nearing end of this month, Ram Nami. Uh, no, the Lord's appearance as Lord Ramachandra. Let's get absorbed in that mood. We just came out of uh, Gaur Purnima, the most munificent incarnations appearance, and his associate uh, Shiva Pandit uh, just appeared a couple of days back. His appearance day. Right. So let's be absorbed in Gaur Katha and now Ram Katha to you know, ultimately purify our life by continuously hearing the pastimes of the Supreme Lord and then perfecting our life. Okay, thank you very much. I'd like to wish you all a safe and Krishna conscious day and weekend ahead. <clears throat> Today is Ekadasi, very auspicious day. Minimally fasting from grains and beans and increasing our Krishna consciousness, increasing our chanting also. Uh, there will be Ekadasi Kirtan in the evening from 7 to 9. Uh, yeah. Govindas will be on uh, serving a Kadasi food in the evening today. And also, uh, yeah, tomorrow will be buffet. 
uh, <clears throat> on Sunday morning, Krishna Nampabu, who is speaking? Yeah, this Sunday is, uh, is a great Swayasaki Prabhu. Um, Sri Shiva Stakur Sankirtan at the house of Sri Vasangam. That is the topic. Vayasaki Prabhu? Yeah, proper disciple, yes. Turn on that one. Hmm. Yeah. 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 Yeah, the famous Kirtanya, Vayasaki. Okay. Yeah, she did a lot of preaching. Uh, some Bangladesh and some countries you know, before Prabhupada left or uh, after Prabhupada left. Some instructions I think Prabhupada gave. But now he's in Rundavan. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> wonderful, wonderful. Yep. Uh, any other announcement? That's it, Prabhu. Following will be, we have Amarendra Prabhu, and then April 1st, we have his Holiness Haladar Samaras lined up to important speakers. Good, good, wonderful. Uh, sounds good. Okay, on that note, we'd like to offer our prayers to the Supreme Lord by chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ramo, Hare Ramo, Ramo, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ramo, Hare Ramo, Ramo Ramo, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ramo, Hare Ramo, Ramo Ramo, Hare Hare, Hare Hare, Shino Shingo, Shino Shingo, Shino Shingo, Paladesh, Jayapadma, Mukapadma, Bringam, Ugravira, Mahavishnu, Gurusam, Savatomukam, Nashino, Vishnu, 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 Bless of our, our humble obeisances to all the summer Vishnavas, Mancha Kalpataru, Vaisya Kripa, Kindu, Vaisya Patitanam, Pavani, Vaishnavi, Vyanamanamaha, Vaishnavi, Vyanamanamaha, 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 Bhagavatam, Vyanamanamaha, Srila Prabhupada, Vyanamanamaha, God, Vyanamanamaha, Hari, 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 Bo. Thank you, Madhupati Prabhupada. Thank you, everyone. Happy Ekadashi, Hare Krishna.